What's up everyone? Today we're going to take a first look at Citrus Grove. Citrus Grove is south of St. Catherine. Uh, St. Catherine kind of spreads across the whole north side of Citrus Grove area. Um, it's also right next to the new championship golf the what? The new championship golf course that they're building and it's southeast of the Zell Rec Center. The Turnpike runs just to the south side of Citrus Grove. It's a really pretty area with a lot of trails. Of course it bumps right up to the golf course and later this week you're gonna see a video on the Baxley Trail Bridge. Um, is it Baxley or Bexley? It might be Bexley. But I'm gonna have an in-depth video about the that bridge and it's multimodal car and golf cart which is gonna give access to the south side of the turnpike which is gonna have that uh, medic medical area um, where the villages is partnering with UF Shands for that whole medical park which is going to be educational along with um, just a, a straight hospital obviously and then two more championship golf courses are planned down there uh, we'll get into that a little bit later in a different video this one's going to be citrus grove specific and I'll show you exactly where it's at on the map and all those kind of things. Let's get into it. So far, the bridges in the villages have only been built to accommodate golf cart crossings, both on 44 and with the Water Lily Bridge on the Turnpike. The first was Chitty Chatty, followed by Brownwood, and then finally the Water Lily Bridge. All three are just golf cart traffic only. Now with the focus on the Southern Oaks area, the Beckley Bridge is next. Bexley Bridge is next. The Bexley Bridge will be different than the previous three. This bridge is going to span the Florida Turnpike just northwest of the CR 470 overpass and uh, southeast of the Okahumka Service Plaza. It's not only going to be a golf cart pass, but will handle vehicle traffic as well. They're, they're calling this a multimodal bridge because it is going to have vehicles, obviously, automotives, and golf carts. Plans are online, or they were online, which is where I received them. One of these great friends sent me the link to the plans. The PDF file has been taken down already, but before it was taken down, um, it showed that they we're planning a two-lane northbound and a two-lane southbound road across that bridge along with the gar golf cart path on one side. Now you're probably asking what makes this so important but right here is that medical area that they're building out along with the two championship golf courses. This is south of the turnpike right here. So it's going to be a golf cart bridge, obviously, um, on the eastern side of the villages. The Water Lily Bridge is only golf cart, and it's on the western side of the villages. But that, uh, that makes for a long ride for everybody uh, coming from this area over here on the Marsh Bend area. It will also provide access to the new Southern Oaks Championship Golf Course, which is right in front of us where you see that water um, from the south side. So if like there's no golf cart bridge on this side at all, uh, Warm Springs Avenue is to the northwest of this. Uh, so, um, but that only has vehicle traffic. Um, Along with the full recreation area up here, which is the Azel Rec Center, which by the way is going up quicker than anything now and getting really painted, um, or they have it painted, I should say. Um, the future medical facilities being built just south of the turnpike for all those people north, the medical facility plans to not just be a hospital, but an educational facility as well. Uh, the goal of the villages, they're planning to bring not just local residents, but they are going to bring um, medical research from all over the world. It's going to be an educational facility as well. They're not just trying to work on patients there. 
they're trying to bring the top medical professionals from all over the world to come visit, work here, teach here, train here. Um, so that's pretty interesting being that the Bexley Bridge is under construction already. You can see uh, what they have done so far and I'm looking forward to seeing the progress soon as they continue building it out. As always, thank you for watching the video and we will see you in the next one.